All right, Mr. D, band teacher, back again for a quick B-flat clarinet level one solo called Andante and Waltz by Hovey and Leonard. Um, great advanced beginner or early intermediate um, piece of literature for, for one of those leveled players. Um, there's two sections, Andante Moderato, then the Waltz section, and then Andante Moderato. Um, during this performance, I'm going to skip over the rest. I'll take a little break, and then I'll just continue on to the next section. Um, the best way to use this video as a lesson or a tool is to get a set of headphones, maybe from your iPod, um, or maybe if you have a, a fancier set of headphones, um, plug it into your computer, and you're going to play along with me. Use it as a tool to play along. Okay, so you get a sense of what the song sounds like. Get it under your fingers, and then make it your own by just doing a lot of practicing. Um, just be careful of the key signatures in the top part, and then it changes in the middle. Um, and that's it. So have fun with Andante and Waltz. I'm going to start at section one after the piano introduction. <laughs> So just a couple of quick comments here. Um, we're going to want to go back to 49 for a second. Uh, make sure you hit the ritardando at the very bottom line, the ritardando at the very bottom line first measure. So let's start back at 49 for one second. Play along with me. Ready? Go. <laughs> do is pick up um, at the odd tempo at the regular speed. All right, let's try that one more time at 49. Okay, so that's Andante and Waltz. It's a general sort of overview of what the song sounds like. Um, I would work on the articulation pattern at 21, where it says Juicoso. You want to definitely do that. And remember, it changes time signature to a 3-4 time. So you're coming off 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, and 2, 3, 1, and 2, 3, 1. All right, so be careful that you change the feel of it. Change it from a you know, a slow walking tempo to a waltz feel where you have, you know, um, a really strong one. All right, there is a note at the bottom. I'll read it to you. It says, in the waltz section, the quarter note should be played rather short and light in style. And those are actually identified with uh, staccato markings. You can see those. Um, and then it says, both the opening and closing on Dante section should be played legato, which is a smooth, connected style of playing. And you can actually see it. You can figure it out just because it's all slurred. So that, you know, it's longer phrases when you play. All right, so here is the Andante and Waltz by Hobby Leonard. It's a great intermediate advanced beginner solo. 
Um, keep practicing. It's a wonderful solo to learn. Get under your belt. Um, and good luck. Okay? So keep practicing. Rock on. And we'll talk to you soon.